In the space of science and tremendous secrets, the subject of what existed beforehand to the huge blast has mixed discussions and charmed characters for a surprisingly long time. This gigantic question doesn't simply test how we could translate the universe. It challenges the certified farthest reaches of human information. In visions standing at the edge of presence, investigating the huge shadowiness, and considering what lay there before our universe was envisioned. The event of the huge explosion marked the dawn of mankind, space, and all that we know. Anyway, was there a second sooner than this? Might there at any point have been a state of nothingness, a quiet, previously, before the grandiose social gathering began? And if this is valid, was it? Or maybe there was something substantially more disturbing that existed before time itself. As we hop further into this question, science takes us on an excursion past the universe's starting point into considerations that challenge our awareness. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his examination into the marvels of the universe, proposes that something amazing may have existed before the tremendous explosion. He moves us to re-examine our considered reality and presence. In this assessment, we'll analyze the science, the hypothesis, and the astonishing insider mysteries that could figure out what existed before all that. We'll investigate contemplations like bombastic turn of events, quantum changes, dull energy, and even multiverses. The responses we've uncovered may very well incapacitate you, yet they could likewise open new understandings of our position in the universe. Prepare to jump deep into a world beyond imagination and science where the dark still twists around the shadows, leaving researchers amazed and, at times, indeed, even agitated. We should investigate what existed before the huge explosion and why these speculations challenge all that we thought we knew. To see the value in what may have existed before the huge explosion, we first need to examine what, exactly, the huge explosion really was. The enormous detonation, as researchers characterize, alludes to the second when the universe turned out to be very hot and thick, developing quickly to set off the improvement of all matter, energy, and limitless powers. When we look toward the night sky, we see evidence of this hot start, with universes fanning out all around from a starting phase. Anyway, for what reason did this happen? Moreover, was there a period before this thick, hot begin? As demonstrated by the hypothesis of tremendous development, there was without a doubt a past. Furthermore, it was way off the mark to void or nothing. Huge Extension proposes that before the huge explosion, the universe was in an express that was cold, empty, and free, basically like a colossal vacuum. In any case, this vacuum wasn't altogether unfilled. It contained a colossal sum of energy that powered the speedy expansion of room itself. This augmentation, called inflation, occurred so quickly that it fundamentally settled the preparation for all that would proceed. In a piece of an ensuing space, it expanded at unfathomed capable rates until the expansion dialed back, and the energy changed into issue particles and the powers we see as the enormous detonation. However, what was the idea of this energy? For what reason did it suddenly develop the universe? Also, for what reason did it stop? Experts accept that this incalculable extension made patches of the universe, each encountering its own enormous detonation. Envision a texture broadening unendingly with little air pockets forming here and there, each air pocket representing a universe, including our own. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, proposes that there are potentially boundless enormous bangs and a limitless number of universes. Our own is only one of many. This colossal, brain-bending reality challenges how we might interpret the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The thought of nothingness before the huge explosion is speculative, not genuine. Anyway, per our ongoing seeing, paying little heed to whether you killed all energy, part, standard, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be truly void. Our universe is loaded up with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and different powers that weave an inescapable, woven fine art of something, even in its most empty design. Whether or not we envision stripping away these powers, leaving a dead space, the universe would still create new sorts of energy. This reality alone is confusing to experts, as it suggests that valid nothingness could be inconceivable. Within our endless consciousness, space itself has properties, 
rules, and constants that keep it from being thoroughly vacant. Envision making a district with, in a real sense, anything in it. No particles, no radiation, and no energy. Just quantum fields and major constants. These would still exist, recommending that this nothingness has properties. For example, there's a characteristic called zero-point energy, which addresses the most inconceivable energy state of quantum field fields. In this state, particles can still quickly appear and dissipate, making a creepy reverberation of development, even in what ought to be vacant space. This challenges our concept of a genuine void and proposes that yes, even before the enormous bang, there was something that researchers are simply beginning to comprehend. One of the most dumbfounding speculations in current cosmology is the opportunity of a mortal extension. If inflation could cause our universe to exist, it's conceivable it could proceed perpetually. Brian Cox describes an incredibly immense inflationary multiverse, where universes are limitlessly made and continue extending. Envision each enormous detonation as a streak lighting one more universe, while inflation goes on in various regions, making incalculable different universes. This cycle could, in principle, happen forever. This thought of tremendous universes gives birth to a captivating idea of a fractal universe, where each new universe may, as a matter of fact, make its own enormous detonation. Each universe exists as a different, free area, unaffected by the others, on account of the fast extension of space. For scientists, this theory is both energizing and disturbing, as it suggests an endless multiverse with no conclusive start or end. Envision our universe being only the slightest bit in a monster, vast construction, always growing, furthermore, continually making new universes. And imagine a scenario where that's what's the upsetting truth. There is no previously or later, but rather an immortal example of universes forming and decaying. How we might interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. As per this hypothesis, the universe isn't simply an aggregation of issue drifting in space. Maybe it's a mind-boggling organization of energy fields that fill the universe, interfacing to make all that we notice. These fields resemble imperceptible oceans, with particles going about as waves or unsettling influences. In any event, when fields are at their most reduced energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still dynamic. Particles can show up and vanish in these fields immediately, securing energy prior to returning it. This peculiarity brings about virtual particles, substances that quickly exist and then disappear, leaving just a weak memory of their presence. The idea of virtual particles challenges the possibility of a genuine void. Envision a vacant universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are taken out. Would you have complete nothingness? As per quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would stay dynamic, sometimes making transient particles. This steady development in what ought to not be anything proposes that the universe doesn't recognize our idea of void. The fields and powers get through, filling the universe with a secret energy that forestalls absolute emptiness. Nothingness. This grasping raises a fascinating question. Assuming fields make particles and particles make matter, could the universe itself have risen up out of the nothingness loaded up with quantum fields? Dark energy is a baffling power that at present drives the sped-up development of our universe. However, did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? From certain points of view, the way that dark energy exists today is an extra of an energy field from before our universe's advancement. The properties of dark energy appear to suggest an enormous, stowed away force that could have existed in some structure before the Big Bang. Some hypotheses propose that dark energy, in a much stronger state, might have controlled the inflationary stage, causing rapid development. The presence of dark energy suggests that, whether or not our universe were depleted of all matter and radiation, this power would continue to extend the texture of space-time. This thought prompts a disturbing inquiry. Assuming that dark energy was available before the Big Bang, might it at any point have shaped the conditions that prompted the introduction of our universe? Might dark energy at some point be the quiet draftsman of expansion, or even the genuine start of our universe? As we investigate this chance, we face the possibility of dark energy, not comparably a force forming our universe, 
but as a key that could open the privileged insights of the multiverse itself. Another hypothesis that offers an option in contrast to the Big Bang as a definitive start is cyclic cosmology, that the universe goes through vast patterns of birth, passing, and restoration. In this model, the Big Bang is definitely not a one-time occasion, but instead part of an immortal cadence, where universes extend, break down, and then recover in another cycle. This hypothesis suggests that our universe could have been renewed from the leftovers of a past universe. The cycle of compression and extension in a cyclic example would imply that there was rarely a genuine start, but instead an everlasting series of universes arising, developing, and restoring themselves over and over again. Cyclic cosmology raises critical inquiries about time, as it proposes that time itself may be recurrent, as opposed to linear. If this hypothesis is right, it could actually mean that what existed before the Big Bang was simply one more version of the universe one that imploded exclusively to bring forth our current universe. For scientists, this hypothesis offers a rich solution to the question of extreme origins, proposing that there is no obvious start. The universe has consistently existed in some form, rising above our thoughts of time and presence. Beginning phase gravitational waves are another captivating thought that could hold hints to what existed before the Big Bang. Gravitational waves are swells in space-time brought about by enormous, Enormous events and researchers believe beginning phase waves, if ever identified, could uncover bits of knowledge into the universe's earliest moments. These waves could serve as the reverberations of what preceded the Big Bang. Should they be identified, they could provide evidence of the universe's past states. The potential discovery of gravitational waves from the pre-Big Bang era could be the key that opens a new understanding of our universe. The search for what existed before the Big Bang continues to unfold with novel ideas that reshape how we understand the universe. These investigations lead to even greater mysteries about the nature of time, energy, and presence itself. Expanding on the speculations surrounding the nature of the universe before the Big Bang, one intriguing speculation involves the concept of the quantum foam. At the most infinitesimal level, space isn't void but rather consists of an extremely dynamic, fluctuating quantum field. This quantum foam, as it's called, suggests that even without matter and energy, there are still quantum variances, minuscule passing changes in energy that can create and destroy particles. This foam of movement could have been the forerunner to the universe, perhaps bringing forth the first particles and forces that later became the texture of our recognizable universe. The possibility that the universe could have risen up out of quantum foam is grounded in the principles of quantum mechanics, where uncertainty and probability are essential. According to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, there are limits to how precisely we can measure the properties of particles, such as their position and energy. This leads to the likelihood that even in an apparently unfilled space, particles can precipitously appear and vanish. If such quantum fluctuations were significant enough, they could have given rise to the colossal energies that ultimately led to the Big Bang. This hypothesis suggests that the Big Bang wasn't the beginning from a classical perspective, but maybe the result of a large-scale change in the quantum foam that reached a critical threshold, igniting the rapid expansion of the universe. In addition to quantum foam, some cosmologists suggest that the universe might have started from a state of false vacuum energy. The false vacuum hypothesis posits that the universe before the Big Bang existed in a false vacuum state, a type of energy that isn't in its least possible energy configuration. This state is unstable, and as it decays, it can lead to the creation of a true vacuum, which would release a gigantic amount of energy and trigger inflation. The false vacuum idea ties into the concept that the early universe could have been born from a metastable state of energy and that its sudden breakdown led to the rapid expansion we associate with the Big Bang. Some hypotheses extend this to suggest that our universe might have been born from a vacuum decay process, where the energy from this breakdown started the rapid expansion and the formation of space-time. Another idea that has emerged is the holographic principle, which proposes that our universe, along with everything in it, may be a projection of information encoded on a distant two-dimensional surface. This hypothesis, which is connected with black hole thermodynamics and string theory, suggests that the universe probably isn't as real as we think. Rather, the three-dimensional world we experience could be a manifestation of information stored on a boundary, and time itself could be an emergent property from this perspective. 
What preceded the Big Bang may not be a traditional before at all, since our view of reality might itself be an elaborate illusion. The holographic principle suggests that the true nature of reality could be more abstract and complex than we can grasp, leaving us to reconsider not just what existed before the Big Bang, but whether there even is a preceding in the conventional sense. The possibility of a cyclic or eternal universe also ties into advanced models of existence, where the Big Bang could be part of an eternal cycle of creation and destruction. This is known as the Big Bounce Hypothesis. In this scenario, instead of a singular, one-time Big Bang, the universe goes through periodic contractions and expansions. After each contraction, a new Big Bang occurs, creating a new universe that is similar to, but distinct from, the previous one. If this hypothesis is true, it could mean that the universe has always existed in some form, and that the Big Bang is just one moment in an eternal cycle. This would challenge our conventional understanding of the dawn of history and existence, as it suggests that time itself is cyclical and infinite, rather than linear and finite. There is also the idea of the no-boundary proposal, presented by physicist Stephen Hawking, which posits that the universe doesn't have any boundaries or edges, either in space or time. According to this idea, the universe may have been self-contained from the very beginning, with time itself emerging from the Big Bang and developing out of quantum fluctuations. In this model, the idea of a before the Big Bang might be meaningless, since time itself arose with the universe. Without a boundary, the question of what happened before the Big Bang would be akin to asking what is north of the North Pole. In this sense, the Big Bang wouldn't mark the dawn of time in any conventional way, but rather the unfolding of an eternal and infinite quantum state. The investigation of what existed before the Big Bang is perhaps one of the greatest intellectual challenges of our existence. As scientists continue to probe the deepest mysteries of the universe, these questions push the boundaries of what we understand about the laws of physics, the nature of time, and the origins of existence itself. Whether through theories like quantum foam, false vacuum, the holographic principle, or cyclic cosmology, our quest for answers continues to unravel the mysteries of the universe. What may have preceded the Big Bang may ultimately be far beyond our current understanding, but every revelation brings us closer to comprehending the true nature of our universe and perhaps its ultimate destiny.